to another wonderful episode of Urban Empire. Happy New Year. Today is the first of the year, and this is the first game we're doing. Uh, we have gotten pretty far, I feel like. We're doing pretty good. I've learned a lot. I'm getting a lot of comments on that first video still, and what's funny to me is that a lot of you who are here know that I just dive into a game. <laughs> I don't do the tutorials. This is probably one of the very first games that I actually went back and did the tutorial because of how complicated it was. I just like to try to figure it out. You know, that's the challenge for me. I like those, that as a puzzle in and in and of itself, you know, and uh, I appreciate all the advice and tips and stuff, but it, it's just kind of the way I work. You know, I really enjoy doing that. So here we are. We've got Ridge Burrow and our uh, new one, uh, Tresano that is doing pretty good we've got everything pretty low it's not super like hey you know we want a lot um got some residents i think we're doing pretty good um we are making just a little bit more money we are in the hole apparently we're in the hole um but we're that'll that'll get fixed i'm making plenty of money i'm doing fine um i wouldn't even mind knocking it down a little bit to save on on bills and stuff uh so here we are and uh let's see free democratic they always win man they always win i want to push for the other guys all right the rights of man here we go rights of man oh we did this okay so here's here's something that happened you'll love this um i i think we're going with vagrants on this one right I think that's what I did. So let me pause real quick. Here's what happened. If you just straight up exit the exit the game, it asks you if you want to save. I thought there was an auto save feature. I could have sworn that there was. Apparently there is not. So uh, I had to redo everything again, and uh, I kind of sped through it and remembered exactly what I had done because when I hit exit, I was like, wait a second, did I save? So I opened it back up and I found that. No, I did not. So I re I had to rebuilt and, and get everybody voting on this thing again. But nothing's really any different than when we first started. So everything's good. We're right back to where we were. I was able to recreate the situation. Uh, I do like zooming in, though. They are going pretty quick, aren't they? Uh, what is this? Labor unions. Is your probably proposed that citizens will be allowed... Uh, to form labor unions. Oh, the unions. Okay. So propose the citizens be allowed to form labor unions. Now, this shows a lot of positives, but I know that there can be a lot of negatives with unions as well. They can, they can be a hindrance. Let's see. Uh, demand change for social life gives me plus two. Uh, brain power production added to buildings. So that gives me... Oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, bonus and social life service, plus four. There is a lot of pluses here. I, ha I feel like it's kind of telling me that I need to be supportive of this. Uh, I don't feel like it's saying that I can't. Uh, everyone is kind of more or less in the middle. It looks like the Swirlium part... Swirling party is right in the middle. This, what is it? The uh, psychotic, psychotic. Well, I keep calling them psychotic. And the free democratic. I never liked the free democratic, but I think I'm gonna support this. I didn't really want to. Um, of course, of course. Look at that. Uh, sir, I propose that the citizens be allowed to form unions. View the proposal. Look at that. See, my, my boys, my boys are all over here, you know, but these free democratic guys, uh, the masses demand unionization, progressive politics, or a step, uh, demand unionization, progressive politics, or a step backwards. Labor unions, also called trade unions, are conf confraternities, I can't read, of salaried employees who associate together for common benefit, similar but not the same associations have existed since the medieval era. Traditionally, unions come together to ensure worker safety, collective bargaining, and rules governing employment. So it's, it's good for the people, but for a business, it's not great. Um, I'm not even going to bother with these guys because they are absolute jerks. 
Like, the entire... The entire time. There has not been one moment where they... I cannot... I have goodwill with them. I don't know what I did. But I'm not even going to try. Uh, I like all of them. You know? And I'm not going to use any of my goodwill here. I've got a lot of goodwill with everybody. Alright. No, that's cool. Uh, let's go back here. Because it's going to pass. I'm not even... I ain't scared of it. So what's going on is each one of these comes up. Uh-oh. Dougal's in trouble. Sometimes managed to be... Get to the other one. Oh, yeah. Um... This is interesting. Uh, he's been oh, he's been complaining about his mistreatment for a while, but this time the bullies have gone one step too far. One holiday, Dougal comes home, face filled with scars. All right, so last time, last time we looked at this, uh, we wanted to know who it was. From further association with bullies, complain about it to the rector. Ah, oh, see, I think, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna see what it does. This gives you guys an option because we've got to repeat history here. Uh, we'll see what this does. Uh, this uh, points acquired towards socialite trait. All right. Uh, your son uh, explains that this was not a result of bullying, but a sign that he finally earned the respect of his fellow students. Uh, Menser fighting is an act of honor among university students. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. That's just stupid. There was a second one here, and it's gone now. That kind of bums me out. It goes too fast, but... I, I kind of need it on a, a fast track, you know? Uh, the era will change in 12 months. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. The era is going to change? Oh, does that mean that this is this is going to be our, our final episode, I think, guys? Because I can only go... I'm only able to do... Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I didn't even think about clicking up here. Uh, available resources, political goodwill, prestige, brain power... Personal funds, city budget is... Oh, that's not good. We're, uh, we, were, we were going down. Now it's going back up. It looks like we're going to have to raise money, I guess. We'll have to raise money on businesses, I think, because the right to man is going to be expensive. Unless we can regulate gambling. That might bring in some money. Yeah, regulate gambling. Gambling. Uh, what else? Oh, that's my logbook. Game options... We are still in era one, but it it just told us that our era will change. And I think it's because of this. Because um, we'll get that one. I thought it would change when we did one of these ones. Because those ones go on to the next. So, um, kind of bums me out a little bit. Because we're going to finish this one. And then I think that's going to be it. Because when we go to Era 2, I got to stop. I'm going to have to pause and stop because no Era 2 stuff. Uh, inv inv invitation to party convention. The psychotic party appreciates you so much, you're invited to give a speech at the party's convention. Yeah, I'll do that. Heck yeah. I'm a psychotic. <laughs> Psychotic. <laughs> Why would you even... Oh, you guys are dumb. <laughs> All right. I want to get this vote in, though. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to. I just got to be ready. I don't think that vote's going to happen. The great questions oh, of the time are not there it is. decided by speeches and majority decisions. That was the era of 1848 and 1849, but by iron and blood. All right. So we're the birth of national identity. This is era two. We, we will have to stop now. Um, nationalist revolution swipe across Europe calls for representation, freedom of press, and abandonment of multicultural empires echo throughout the streets from Paris to Vienna. So, that is it, guys. That is, oh, oh, Dougal. Oh, I'm Dougal. I'm the son now. Birth of national identity. Thanks to his father. Having been mayor of the city, Dougal becomes the first of the family to receive a university degree. His father, his father's and grandfather's example has given him a strong sense of justice and self-value. Bullied from an early age of, of, by more privileged families, Dougal becomes accustomed to conflict with the ruling classes. He believes that the old order will not bring any reform and wants to spearhead change. This will have many consequences when he follows his father as the mayor of the city. 
that's fascinating. So he's cynical. I had created these traits? Oh, that's interesting too. Uh, cynical? Yeah. Yeah, definitely cynical. Uh, but he's honest, so that's good. Uh, he is progressive. Absolutely progressive. Emperor's nominee. You are not uh, to your position by the emperor himself and thus cannot be voted out. Well, that's awesome. All right. Well, that's that's the uh, the end of era one. Um, I voted in the Swarlian party in the old Swarlian party. Uh, voted out of the national. Wait, what? The young and the old. Out. Obsolete. Uh, when the world transforms itself, the same happens to the people and their representations at the dawn of. Oh, so now there's two more parties. I get it. The National Swirlian Party is gone. The new oh, wow, there's some changes, man. Service to... I don't know if I'm supposed to be covering this, but I'm doing it. Uh, and I apologize to the developers, but this just... I, I, I can't stop. I, I, I mean, I guess I could. Um, I hope this is okay, because it's just going into the next part, and I'm going to stop right here. But, yeah, this is, this is what happens. Um, service demand changes. These are... When the world transforms uh, at the dawn of a new era, service needs to, of the citizens grow, and there's changes in who they vote for. Okay. All right. So that, that's it. That is it. Uh, oh, the old Swirlian party wins. Yes. No more of that crap old stuff. Uh, the Free Democratic Party. I hated them. All right. Well, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, until the game releases, which I believe. Uh, let me double check real quick. I believe it is January uh, 20th is when the game will be released. Um, and uh, that's when I will come back and we can start a brand new game. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to start brand new or just continue from here because I'll save this and we can come back to it later. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I hope to uh, continue to give you some of the best entertainment that I can give you during the rest of the year with a variety of other games that I have in the works and feel free to check out any of the other games I have on my channel. Uh, sometimes it's not as painful to watch the first episode as it was for this one for a lot of you. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. I'll catch you later. Stay groovy. I'm out.